Yeah, my name's Paul. I work with Glasgow East Arts Company and we programme platform and work in partnership every year with Glasgow Kelvin College and we uh, work together to produce the shows. The students produce the work, frame it and I get to hang it every year. So it's always interesting because it's always a varied show with lots of different, um, different types of artwork to be presented. I started making like my own jewellery at home and then I brought it into my college work and that's where all this mostly came from. It was just all different pieces of work I had lying about and then we'd, I was doing 1920 themes and vintage themed women so we decided to incorporate my new jewellery into 1920 style. He used his idea to create this kind of graffiti style background and uh, he's created his digital logo and applied that to the t-shirts and also the shop front there. So again, that's kind of personal project, taking his design ideas out into a kind of real world context. I've learned quite a lot. I think that uh, I already had some kind of experience in, in digital media, but they've helped me kind of bring in uh, traditional medias as well. And it's been, it's been really good. They've been very, very uh, nurturing and helpful. I found this, this two chair uh, uh, in the rubbish near my flat and I think that, oh, this is quite nice chair <laughs> and maybe I use it <laughs> in my project. She's very interested in sculpture and she's actually been lucky enough to get a place in sculpture and environmental art at Glasgow School of Art this year. People were uh, people uh, so, um, so confused when I going on the uh, city centre in the two chairs and I make a picture and leave the chair on the bus stop and oh, what is going on here? Why the chair stay in the bus stop? Oh my god! <laughs>